Make sure you stay till the end and see how we got all this fecal dust out of the pipe. Do you ever wish that you could just take a wire brush or maybe a chain with carbide tips on it and just run it down deep inside and really clean your stuff out? Well, you can. Well, I'm talking about your plumbing, okay? I mean, seriously. Now, this is something that a lot of people do when they go in and reline pipes under a house to fix leaks. We're gonna show you today how good you can actually clean the inside of your pipes before you have a problem. We're gonna do that today with the rigid flex shaft. Now, I've done a video about it before. I'm not making this video for rigid or anything like that. I just wanna show you as a plumber, guys, this is a service that you can offer, and I'm gonna show you what you can actually get in there and do and how well it does the job. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna start off with the carbide tip chain. Now, it's the chain that has the carbide tips and I'll show it to you here in a little bit, but we're gonna follow it up with the wire brush just to show you how good and clean you really can get the inside of these pipes. If you've got a customer that their plumbing is stopping up quite often, this may be a good thing to offer them to help clean out that rough inside that really is catching everything that's going down. So. Let's jump in here and get started and just show you what all we can do. Let's go. Yeah. Man, look how good that did. Oh no, yeah, it's, it cleaned the wall down a lot in comparison. Yeah, and, and I'm not moving real slow and I'm not going back and forth. It's not wet or anything. Yeah, I mean, it's just yeah. scrape that yeah. off. Cool okay, so the very first thing that we did is we took the rigid flex shaft and we ran the carbide tip chain through it. Now, we ran it through slow, we ran it through fast, we ended up running it all the way through just to see what we could do and how clean we could get the pipe. Now, this is probably not something every homeowner is gonna wanna do, but if you have a house where you have a blockage occurring on a regular basis, you've ran a camera down, it looks a little rough, but there's no breaks, there's nothing like that, you may wanna see about getting your pipes cleaned out. You cleaned out a lot of shit though, cool didn't it? No, yeah, I mean, it's... Oh shit. See, that's the problem with having all that long cable, but I don't know how to get the cable back up in here. Let me just see if it'll spin right here. Something disconnected. It disconnected from the cable on the inside, yeah. Now I know, now we gotta take the whole damn thing apart. 346 minutes later. Twisted the f out of it. <laughs> Ain't no fixing that, Pop. I know, I know. Let me go look online. Let me see if I get a new cable for it. Is this defined as a fart? Because it is te technically gases pieces floating through the air. So therefore, is is that a fart? Is this what a fart looks like? Yeah, is this what a fart really looks like? You can tell by looking at the before picture and seeing how rough everything is. I mean, think about that. I tell people all the time the Cottonelle flushable wipes are fine because they'll dissolve and break down. But as rough as that is on the inside, even toilet paper, you're gonna get a soft stoppage. That toilet paper is gonna get caught on all that roughness on the inside of your pipes and then anything else coming down there, it's just gonna start building up. So if you are having those problems, then you can see what we did. Now we cleaned out four and a half feet of pipe. We ran the carbide tip chain knockers through it, then we came back and ran the wire brush through it. Now, we spent a lot of time cleaning four and a half feet of pipe because we wanted to show you what it would look like. And I think it came out really looking pretty well. Now, is this something every homeowner is gonna wanna do that has cast iron? Probably not. Here's the thing. If you use those carbide tip chain knockers inside, you're gonna scrape a lot of 
the inside of the pop off. Meaning, not just the build up there, but what if it's coated? What if you start getting down into that and you expose the cast iron? Is that gonna help it rust faster? There's a lot of things that you'll wanna think about before you do that. My recommendation, if you've got a problem like this, run a hydro jetter down there. Run a hydro jetter first, clean it with water. Clean out as much as you can through every vent. Now you're not gonna get every inch of pipe in your house, I get that. Look at all the dust that we broke up right here in four and a half feet of pipe. And the thing is, I've got another pile of it down on the floor where I stood it on the end and bounced it down just to get all the loose stuff out. This was literally just picking it up and tilting it. That was bouncing it, getting it all out. Now, you're not gonna be able to do that if you clean the pipes out under your house. If you do end up coming in, brushing, using chain knockers, doing anything like this, run a hydro jetter down through it, get it cleared out, it's gonna smooth things up and that's liable to save you a few hundred dollars every few months if you are having problems like that. Now again, this is not something I would recommend to a lot of people, but there are certain times you can see what we took the inside of this pipe from and what we took it to. Now, this pipe is 50 years old. Everybody thinks, well, I'll never buy a house with cast iron pipe under it because it's gonna rust and break. Guys, this pipe's 50 years old. It didn't look bad. We replaced it because we went into an area that did look bad. But look how much stuff we got out of that. This pipe still looks good. The walls aren't compromised. It's nice and thick like it should be. To me, if this pipe was under my house and I knew this, I'd be pretty happy with it. If you're a residential service plumber or you're thinking about starting your own business or you've already got yours, this is a service that you could offer people. Now, it's not one that a lot of people are gonna get and it's not one that I would recommend to everybody, but this is something that it will help make you a better company. You offer people something that a lot of other people aren't and you can follow it up, run a camera through it just like we did, get a good clear picture, that's why we use the, the Milwaukee camera. I think that is one of the clearest video cameras that I've seen. And man, they're easy to work with. So do whatever you can do for your company to differentiate yourself from each and every other company out there. And if you can offer that you do this, God, pipe rejuvenation, whatever you want to call it, what a great service to offer to your people. So guys, think about it. We got, God, a ton of fecal dust on the floor up here that we couldn't out of four and a half feet of pot. Don't know how much this sells for, but it may be worth bagging up on the next job you do. Anyway, if you love this video, I'm sure you're gonna love the next one.